If you use Twilio for almost in the US, it's just a half a cent per minute, but in other countries, the prices can be extremely high. In my case, it's 16 cents per minute. If you calculate the cost of using AI for on-one calls for an hour, it actually ends up being twice as expensive as paying a human. You may think, okay, I will just find another provider. You check those integrated with Retel or Vapi and find Vonash, Telnix. You check their prices, still no better. They charge 14 cents per minute. That's not acceptable. Then you look for local SIP trunk providers and good news, they are actually cheap. I'm paying just 2 cents per minute with my local provider and inbound calls are free. Even better, my latency was reduced by about 40%. But when it comes to local providers, there are a few things you need to know. They don't have a platform like Twilio where you can configure everything yourself. Instead, everything is done through email exchanges. Some require you to sign a contract, but it can be for an indefinite period. Platforms for building AI voice assistants don't have a static IP addresses. They use dynamic IP ranges that constantly change, make it, it impossible for a your local provider to whitelist them. And that's the problem we are going to solve. We are going to create a static IP address that you can provide to your local carrier, allowing you to use them with platforms like Retel, Vapi, or any AI voice assistant platform. Let's start. Uh, I know it may seem complicated, but it's actually not. First, I will need you to create account on yambons.org you will get the link in the description. You will get as well the instruction. So we can go with that step by step. Let's go to the dashboard on Yambos. Let's go to the carriers. Add carrier. Let's name it Rattle. Uh, you want check E164. Okay. Okay, let's just add the network address. You have it in the instruction, it's just IP address of the rattle. And you want to uncheck your inbound, you want to check outbound, and you want to have your ADP. When you have it ready, click save, go to clients, add zip client, create some username, create some password, you will need it later, you can save it. Provider. We got our SIP client account ready. Let's go to carriers again because we need to create SIP trunk for your local provider. Okay, local check E164 syntax, outbound authentication. So you need to have login and password from your local provider and also SIP realm. He will give you everything. Then you go to the bottom, check outbound, and you need to type here the IP address from your local provider as well. Click save. Okay, now we need to deploy Yambon's application on some server. You'll get a link here to the Yambon's GitHub in the description. Uh, you can just click Deploy to Heroku. Okay, it's really simple. Uh, type some app name. Uh, in my case, I choose it Europe because I'm in Europe. Okay. Uh, PSTN trunk name, the name of the carrier. Okay, so in my case, it's local. It's the name of the carrier that I created in the Yambons portal, right? A client username. Uh, what was that? Test, okay. Test, retail track name, retail. Deploy up. Okay, perfect. Uh, click view. We'll need it. Uh, let's go back to Yambos. Let's add application. Mm -hmm. OK, 
I call him webhook. Call status webhook, it's below. Save. App is ready. Let's add our phone number that you got from your locker carrier without plus carrier that we created uh, before application uh, or app test. The application that we just created, right? Save. Okay, guys, uh, Jamos is ready. Now we just need to add the number to Rettel. Connect your number via SIP tracking. Yes, that's what we want. Um, okay, phone number. Termination URI. You will find it in Jambons. You just need to go to your account. Here is it. SIP Realm. SIP track username. Uh, it's the name that you created in the Jambons. Just go to the clients. It's that name that you uh, type it here and the, the same password, right? Okay, and nickname. Ready here. Let's set up um, agents for our number. Now let's go to our agent. We have one more thing to do here. Webhook settings. Now you just need to copy the link to your application from Heroku. You can find it in settings. And the link is here, domains. Copy. Okay. The same here. Now here on the end, we just need to type inbound dash webhook agent dash events. Perfect. Let's save it. Okay. Now it's ready. We can receive calls. I will just show you quickly. <laughs> what you need to know is that the option here, make an onboard call, we will actually not work. You need to create uh, automation in make.com to send request. You can go through that real quick. Okay, let's add here the client number. Let's send a request. Make a request, okay. And the request you can you can find here. Let's just copy the link. Our base URL copy. Account seed, okay. Account. Yeah, here on the top. Let's copy. Mm -hmm. Ready, method post. Headers. Can I copy it? Authorization. Content type. Mm -hmm.
Okay, now we need uh, API key. There are two jumbles. Let's go to account. Bottom, add key. Copy, close. Okay, it's ready. Just paste it here. Okay, now we can add a request in JSON. Application seed, okay. Application seed. On the top. From our number. And we are calling. So we added variable, right? Right number. Oh, it should be without plus, sorry. And track is just the name of the carrier we created before. Local provider. That's correct. Let's just remove the plus. Let's check it. It works. Yeah, that's it guys. I will leave some contact to myself in the description. If you have any problems, you can just write to me. Thanks.